Hey everyone, Professor Hank here, and today we're going to talk about different ways that you can check the condition of your file stream in C++. So in C++, file streams have different bits that serve as sort of a flag to let you know that certain things have happened. So on the screen, I've gone ahead and put four of them along with their functions that you can use to access them and a function that you can use to clear bad ones and also to set any of them that you would like. So you've got the EOF bit, you've got the fail bit, the bad bit, and the good bit. And so with the EOF bit, this is a bit that gets set whenever you get to the end of a file. Say that you're doing a loop and you are reading all the contents of that file. When you get to the end, then the end of file bit will be set. Fail gets set when an attempted operation has failed. The bad bit uh, gets set whenever there's an invalid operation that has occurred. And the good bit happens when or get set when all of the above are not set, etc. Now the clear function, in addition to being able to clear all of the bad bits, reset them all to zero. So basically these bits can be either set to true or false, one or zero, okay? So when they're set, it's one, but when you want to clear them, then you can call the clear function and it'll set all the bad ones back to zero, uh, or you can pass it one of the bits as an argument and then it'll set it. All right, so let's go ahead and see how we can use these things and uh, see what it looks like. So we'll go ahead and we'll write ourselves a function and we'll call this, um, you know, show flags or show state, and we'll pass to it an F stream object by reference. And I'll just call that F. And for this function, we'll have just a bunch of C out statements, right? So I'll do C out EOF bit. Okay. And then we'll call F dot EOF and that'll return true or false, depending on whether or not we're at the end of the file, right? So then we'll do a similar thing for the fail bit, right? And so to access that we do fail, then we'll do the good bit state or the bad bit state, sorry, it's bad bit because that was next. And so we'll call bad, and then we'll do the good bit and then we'll call F dot good. And then we'll clear any of the bad bits that get set, right? So bad being um, anything that's not good, okay? Uh, all right, so um, we need our F dot for this. Okay, so now we can call this function here and it'll tell us the state of any of the bits. All right, so let's go ahead then and open a file for writing to start with. So we'll do something like this. We'll say, um, oh, F stream F and we'll name the file um, data. And then we'll open this for writing using the, the out file access specifier. Okay, then we'll make sure that we close it. We will try to do some writes to it. So we'll do something like um, F83 new line, F77 new line, and then we'll do F61 new line, right? And then we'll call our show state function and we'll pass it our F function, right? So let's go ahead and test this. We'll see what our bits report. So you can see here from the output that we didn't trigger the end of bit or end of file state. We didn't trigger a fail. We didn't trigger a bad bit state. And what we have triggered is the good bit state. So that means that nothing went wrong. And so we can feel pretty darn comfortable with that. And we can go take a look and open up the text file and see if everything's there. All right, so as you can see, we've got our contents here. Okay, so let's go ahead and reopen the file. This time we'll open it for reading and we'll create a loop that will read all of the values from the file and just simply put them on the screen. Okay, and they're on separate lines. And then once we're done with the file, we'll close it. But before we do so, we'll uh, call our show state function again. And we'll take a look and see what bits we have. So now you can see the three numbers from the file, 83, 77, 61. And you can see that the EOF bit was set and also the fail bit was set. Now why? Well, end of file bit was set once we read the last number, okay? And then once we went back to the top of the loop again, we tried to do another read operation, but we couldn't because the end of file bit was set. And so when that happened, then our fail bit got set.
Okay, let's open it one more time for reading. And we'll just read one number this time. So we'll just do one value and then display that to the screen. And then we'll see what our state looks like. Again, we'll see what our bits look like. And then we'll close our file. All right, so now if we run this, okay, we see there's 83 from the first line of the file that we read. And then you'll see that the end of file bit state is still zero because we didn't reach the end of the file when we were reading, because we only read one value instead of three. There was no failed bits that got set because we didn't try to do a read once we were at the end of the file. There's no bad bits because nothing bad happened. And then our good bit state was set to one because none of the other flags were set. Finally, let's see how we can set the individual bits by passing them as arguments to the clear function. So to do this, we'll go ahead and reopen the data file again. And this time we'll open it for writing. And before we do anything, we'll call the show state function to show that everything is clean. And then we'll call our clear function. And this time we'll do iOS fail bit. And then we'll call show state after that. And then let's remember to cl close our file. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so then you can see that in the first call to show state, EOF bit zero, fail bit zero, bad bit zero, good bit one. And then the second time we called show state after we called clear and set the fail bit, you can see EOF bit state zero, fail bit one, bad bit state zero, and then good bit state was zero because why good bit only gets set to one if none of the other flags get set. All right, so now you know how to do some additional types of error testing for your files in C++. Okay, so that's going to bring this video to a close. If you're a student of mine, you have questions about any of the topics that were covered in this video, feel free to drop me an email, stop by my office hours, or hit me up on Zoom online. For the rest of you, if you thought the video was useful, please consider giving a thumbs up. If you thought the video sucked, you got the thumbs down button as well. Consider supporting the channel in various ways. You can subscribe, you can join as a member with additional perks for as little as 99 cents. Leave a comment, whatever. But most of all, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.